The poet moves rapidly in this section, describing Heolac's demise in conflict against the Swedes. Heolac and Beowulf went to raid a Germanic tribe called the Franks, who were known for carrying lots of treasure. The king of the Franks found out about the Geats' attack and sent an army to retrieve all that the Geats took. Although Beowulf survived, many others, including Heolac, did not. Beowulf's time to rule the Danes comes, and he does so for 50 years before the waking of the dragon. A runaway slave goes into the dragon's barrow and flees with a golden goblet. The dragon searches everywhere, but can't find the man and decides to avenge the theft. He burns land and villages, and Beowulf knows he must challenge the dragon to save his people. A great battle shield is made, but Beowulf doesn't prepare a large army because he's sure he can handle the beast on his own. Beowulf reflects on the battle that claimed Heolac. When he arrives back to his home kingdom, Heed wants him to be king, but Beowulf won't agree to be named ruler over Heolac's son, Hardred. Eventually, King Hardred was accused of being part of the Swedish feud. He was killed and Beowulf became king. He avenged Hardred's death by killing the Swedish king, the one who seized the Swedish throne. After the story of Beowulf's ascension, Beowulf selects 11 men to join him. They find the thief who stole the goblet and force him to guide them to the dragon's lair. Beowulf wishes his men good luck with a sad sense of foreboding, knowing he will die. In this section, the poet uses a non-linear technique to tell stories within the story, going back in time through Beowulf's memories. The tale of Heolac's demise foreshadows the events that will transpire when Beowulf faces the dragon, a battle that carries a lot of risk, but very little reward. The dragon's greed is evident, becoming enraged at the theft of a single golden goblet amongst the treasure. Beowulf's frailty is revealed, being 75 years old, he does not have the confidence he once did, such as with Grendel. Instead, he senses his own demise and wonders what he could have done to offend God and fate.